This is Mickey Padilla, and we are here with the actor, rapper, producer, John Rhymes, a.k.a. Kid Hustle. What's up? What's up? How are you today? I'm doing good. Doing, I'm doing good? good. Doing Glad good. to be here. Great to see you, man. Okay. Great to see All you, All right. Man. All right. So, of course, everybody wants to know, what was your involvement in this movie, Face of Evil? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, Face of Evil. I played, you know, one of the most pivotal roles in the movie. No, what was that? I, just, <laughs> I played a cop. I played a cop in the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it it was uh, it was a small role, but it was cool. I mean, usually uh, I play bad guys like a drug dealer or a robber or a thug. Right. Um. So it was kind of cool being on the other side of the law. It's pretty good. Yeah, right? but yeah, I think I did. I think I did pretty good. You know, uh, Vito said I did good. So hey, he he's the director. He's the man. So I saw the uh, movie. I yeah. thought you were flossy. Oh, okay. I thought okay. you were good. Yeah. yeah so. I think a lot of your fans are gonna wanna know is. Did you do some research for this role? Because right now, cops are in the limelight for some stuff, and I, it doesn't mean you have to stop as an actor and creator to get out there and, and yeah. still get into that role. Yeah. And this role, you were fabulous. Well, yeah, what I did was I went out and robbed a liquor store, then got <laughs> you know busted, and then right. I was like, hey, how am I being treated, you know? So, yeah, so that's what I did. There you go. It was, it was a lot of fun. That was my actor, research, yeah. Actor, rapper. And then, I made, and then I made a rap about it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you made a lot of raps about it because, from yeah. my understanding, your music is all over this movie. Movie, flossy, dynamic, hip. It's hard. It just, mm, just wants to get you. Can you just tell us a little bit about the process? What what songs got in there? The original. What everybody wants to know this. You're yeah, yeah. It was um, it was uh, all original music that got into it. Um, you know, usually I do like theme songs for movies. That's what I like to do, like okay. kind of theme. But I was like, okay, I'm not gonna do a, th a theme song um, per se. I did offer it, but Vito didn't want to do it. But I did. Um, but I said, hey, Vito, listen. Um, I pretty much opened up my library of the music and stuff, new stuff I was working on, okay. stuff I had already worked on. And I just said, hey, man, you know, you know the movie, you know, what what's going to fit. So why don't you just listen to it and then pick right. out of what you think is going to, you know, go with the movie. And so he ended up taking like four tracks, you know. So that wow. was, yeah, so I was, I was like, Congrats. okay, cool. Yeah, I was like, I was like really, really happy about it. So yeah, right. and they fit in with the scenes, uh, scenes pretty cool. And, oh, uh, they're amazing. And so yeah, so I was like, hey, okay. It, you know, I just wanted to help out, and it was good that uh, he liked the music. I mean, he's a big fan of music, right. and um, you know, he's known me for a minute too. So, but and I wanted to, you know, get my music in there to help his project out. As but well. that's something I don't know if many people knew about you. You, yes, you're on the hip hop scene. You're all over social media. Your music is hype. All this stuff. But I don't know if many people knew that you do theme songs. You do things. You you put this stuff together. And um, can you just tell your fans a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, it's it. hard. like I had a lot of um, buddies in radio and stuff, and they'd be like, yo, I need this radio show open and, um, you know, like that. So I was able to, like, kind of take a you know, take a theme or whatever the show is about or whatever and then like make like custom make like a song wow. for their like show or whatever. So, you that know, fit that, yeah, that, that fit show, that. Right? So it's like, it's like a custom, you're like, you know, making it custom just for that. So it's kind of fun because you can make, you know, make a beat that's exclusive for them and a rap that's exclusive for them. And then they're like, oh, this is like, this is like tailor made. So it, it's fun. It's, 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 it's fun doing that because it keeps it fresh because you can always, uh, you know, use new beats and, 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 you know, rap about something new and, you know, rap about a movie. So it's kind of cool. I like doing yeah, that. Yeah. So how phenomenal is that? The Vito goes and looks into your library and you have all of this stuff that you've already put together. You've created for different shows, different concerts, different performances. And right, you guys right. put your creativity together and poof, magic happened because you guys got to see this movie. The music is dope. It's amazing. And you're a big part of it. And we're very thankful to have you. Um, if you can plug anything that you want for your fans because I know they're going to want to follow you. Oh, yeah, you can, hear this music you can go to uh, kidhustle.com and, uh, you know, that'll have my latest stuff or just Google Kid Hustle Music and my stuff will come up on iTunes. And, uh, right. yeah, but go see Face of Evil. It's going to be a great Face movie. We're in L.A., baby. He's not, only, he's not only the music behind a lot of it, he's a mad, bad boy in there, too. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. Congratulations to you. Face of Evil, definitely come to see it at the Downtown LA Film Festival on September 22nd of this month at the Regal Theater, number 13, LA Live. Lucky number 13. John Rhymes is in it. Catch him on his music link, everything on Google, social media, iTunes. Kid Hustle. Kid Hustle. Thank yeah. you so much Thank for your you. time. Appreciate it. Best All of right. luck to you. Thanks. Thanks.